Here is the outlook for D'Antonio and the Spartans, set to return 14 starters from last year. A lot of familiar skill position names on offense. QB Kirk Cousins, Edwin Baker, Le'Veon Bell, Larry Caper, B.J. Cunningham, Keyshawn Martin. Some big voids on defense with their top two tacklers, Greg Jones and Eric Gordon, have both moved on. You guys have both seen them this spring. What stood out to you when you watched the Spartans, Howard? Well, I can tell you what. First of all, Coach D'Antonio looks in great shape. I mean, he looks like he's feeling good and ready to move forward. But when I watched this team, one of the questions I had was what Kirk Cousins was going to be able to do. He had an outstanding year last year. But to me, Kirk Cousins has to take his game to another level. When you look at their two losses, they were minus 17 yards rushing. So these are games where people are trying to line up take the quarter running game away, and the quarterback has to be able to step up and make some plays. He struggled a little bit in the spring, but I can tell you Coach D'Antonio is not concerned with him because he feels like he has a great grasp of the offense. He just has to get calm and, and relax and get back with his offensive line and really make some plays happen from the passing game. But I think that if they can get that passing game going to where it needs to go, this is going to be an unbelievable offense. And Howard, he struggled a little bit, he being Kirk Cousins, a little bit the day I was at spring practice as well. And he's going to have to have a good year. If you look at the way the league is built this year, not a lot of dominant defenses. And that gives the advantage to any offenses that have a lot of explosive players on offense. Well, Michigan State certainly has a lot of explosion, but it won't go anywhere without Kirk Cousins having a good year. But having said that, I believe most of the progress of Michigan State has to be made at the line of scrimmage, both on the offensive lines and the defensive lines. If you look at the Alabama game, this shows you where they have to make the most amount of progress. And, and uh, Mark D'Antonio has said, and it's obvious when you go to practice, they're more athletic on the offensive line, but they still have to get much better and get in much better sync. The defensive line, again, it's better than the one we're watching here, but you can see on these four Alabama plays that the line of scrimmage was going to go anywhere that Alabama wanted it to go, not where Michigan State wanted it to go. And I hate to beat a dead horse to death, but the answer is recruiting. You, the recruiting of the elite athletes in the front on offense and defense really is the answer to Michigan State's questions. I mean, Mark D'Antonio has done an unbelievable job there. The next step is to get great offense and great defensive linemen. Yeah, you take a look at a game where you're outgained 275 to negative 48 on the ground. That probably tells you everything you need to know about the line of scrimmage. Without, that without question. Day. Without question. I think one of the good things, though, that they've decided, and this doesn't happen a lot of places, where you take defensive linemen and turn them into offensive linemen, that's one of the reasons they've been able to get so much athletic, much better athleticism on the offensive side of the football. But Worthy, the talented defensive tackle, He's poised to have a breakout year. They are really excited about the defensive line. And then, as you mentioned, I was talking to Coach D'Antonio, and he was talking about moving Blake Treadwell mm -hmm. over and that he feels that's going to give them a nice advantage offensively too. So they're certainly addressing the issue. But as we said, it was a problem, particularly in that bowl game.